Right, excuse the uh, dash view and the wire. My phone's on charge. It's getting dark. So it's still daylight. The sun is setting. It's uh, a couple of minutes to nine o'clock. Wow, well, I can't see a thing. Um, and we're off-roading. We're in the woods. Come on, in countries. better you can see as well now uh, yeah I've finished work at four o'clock today and wanted to come straight down here but I had to wait around at home for things to do for other people and then at like seven o'clock I get told oh it's gonna be tomorrow now I'm like well I've been waiting around I like, haven't had enough I'm going out so um, yeah got down here late really annoyed um, and bought the new rifle and I bought the new uh, spinny reset target but I'm 99.99999% positive that I took the pellets out of my gun case the other day when I was pumping up the new pump and I've got no pellets with me <laughs> I know the shop I normally go to is closed on Sunday because tomorrow is Sunday um, and uh, yeah so uh, Looks like I have to Google somewhere local to buy some pellets. Now I'm between a few big towns, so it shouldn't be difficult. Uh, and it's really late, but this is what I prepared last time I was here. Remember that last minute I cut that tree down? I had some wood, but I wanted more. So um, I bought Vaseline and cotton wool. Realised I still had reserves in the shed, in the kitchen in a box. Oh, I've just opened the boot off the car up. <laughs> <laughs> and they were sat right there. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Uh, turns out all I've got now is my Wessex Nice blade. Or blade from Wessex Nice. Um, jerry can, cordage, pedal stove, radio grab bag, cordage bag, S10 gas mask. Um, bashers out. Just uh, going to grab the cordage. Right, it's 11 o'clock at night. I've just had a go with a rifle, <laughs> shooting from the knee <laughs> on the new target. I didn't think I'd hit it this close. Um, I don't know what the distance is. This thing's mental. Um, first time item, they didn't ping up and stay up, they just swung. And I thought, well, this is crap, why is my rifle not got enough power to ping these up? And then uh, the second time item, they all pinged up and stayed up. Top one we set them. Yeah, man, £8.99 for me, buddy. I got a set of spare stickers, but they're really not going to last long. So I bought a white rattle can down with me that I used on my old van. So when the paint comes off, I can just spray them all again. White instead of keep buying or printing out stickers. That last one's impressive. <laughs> but yeah, I was on my knee, resting on a log. <laughs> Proper swaying. <laughs> Still managed to hit them though. It'd be cool if they were glow in the dark. Um... And there's, there's the old setup over there. So, what's that? 15 metres? I'm absolutely sweating. I've been in a t shirt all night. I've had to keep my hat on for the bugs. And I've moved the light because the light was above me and it was attracting the bugs so uh yeah the lights over there my hat's on there's a lot of bugs around here there was like some sort of hornet it was bright yellow and black like a wasp but huge massive climbing over my chair so uh yeah early one the uh phone unlocked in my pocket and all the settings changed I deactivated recording audio with video 
I, I don't know, I randomly selected loads of shit in my options in my pocket. So, um, yeah, I did record quite a fair bit of footage without any audio. <laughs> I pulled my phone out of the pocket, it was on uh, camera options, and I just closed it, didn't bother checking it. Lucky I tried playing back a few clips earlier, and then uh, discovered why there was no audio. But my phone's 100% now. Um, the battery bank for the light is still probably 3 out of 4 bars. The little uh, Baofeng UV5 on the table over there. The little green light. And plenty of firewood. And about 20 trees. When I came up here the other day, I found another 10 15 trees to come down. So I've got a lot of work to do up here. Alright, if I can cool myself down, shouldn't have lit a fire, but I wanted to. If I can cool down because I'm sitting here outdoors sweating like a pig, it's literally running off my head. Um, as soon as I've cooled down a bit, which will probably be gone midnight, it's about 11, half 11 now. So when it, when it finally cools down, I can go to sleep because it's just too hot to get in the bed now. Stupidly hot this time of year, not a fan. Morning, there. Morning, YouTube. Just thought I'd uh, show you my my sunny part of the woodland at the top, where I've got this uh, stack of wood, a swing. Um, yeah, it's reasonably um, sunny here. A big opening, so I'll be bringing the uh, solar panel up here soon. I've not long been up, and as you can see, it's a lot less sunlight here but there are a few sunny patches coming through which are lovely and warm to stand in uh yeah last night got in late must have been about three o'clock in the morning i had to jump out the hammock for uh, a 10 100 nature calls in case no one wonders what a 10 100 is um when i sort of got back in the hammock i realized how comfortable it was and it wasn't hot if i'd woke up at home i'd have been horrible and sweaty and uh probably unable to get back to sleep so easy and i was laying in the hammock well just before i got up i heard sound like one midgy flying around or something buzzing near me so when i got up had a piddle and um, jumped back in the hammock i opened it up because the uh the dd scout is dual skinned and um, yeah, got back on my sleeping bag and sort of laid inside. I, I didn't want to get up and tie this up. Um, trying to get this to show now. Yeah, I didn't want to lift up the hammock because this is lightweight ripstock. It's not the ultra light stuff that's like uh, silk, it's just lightweight, it's thinner than a basher. Um, so yeah, having that over me, um, laying on my sleeping bag, was enough to fall back asleep and keep the bugs out. Um, just before I went to bed, I did hear a frog, well, and see it jumping around there. Might have been the same frog that was there. But um, yeah, there was a frog jumping around underneath my hammock. And then through the night, I... I did stir because I heard this really pitiful croak from a frog or a toad. <laughs> it wasn't enough to disturb me, but he was definitely underneath me. Um, so yeah, I have no idea what the temperature is. All I know is it's a lot cooler here than at home or out in that sunlight over there. Plans for today are stick the kettle on, although I didn't bring the kettle. So I'm going to be using the metal part of the uh, BCB Crusader cup set. I've been boiling them there on the fire. Burnt quite a bit of wood last night. Got them left over. Uh, be using the barbecue today just for boiling stuff. Well, then again, I've got the petal stove. I don't know. I've got options, which is good. And then the, the video I done last night was a waste of time. It was either too dark or I'd managed to put my phone in my pocket. <laughs> And hit the settings not to record audio so this thing's brilliant if you haven't seen one of these I saw one in the shop where I bought my gun 
and I think they're about 30, 40 quid. <laughs> I've seen them for 20 quid elsewhere. So after you've hit them and pinged them all up, you hit the top one and it resets them all. I'll do a video on that later. I'll try and get the phone on the tripod and see it working. Um, but yeah, nothing to uh, report really. Bloody good night's sleep. And then laid there this morning. I think I woke up at nine, half nine. And uh, sort of cocooned and poked my head out. So I was sort of, I looked like Kenny from South Park in a sleeping bag. And just laid there sort of looking down looking down there you can see the ground the streams there and I can see all the ground there and I was just watching to see any, if there's any movement um, again same as last time I was here I could hear plenty of wildlife I just couldn't see it I even like about half 12 last night just before I went to bed oh, I had my light plugged in there um, that thing it must have been plugged in for about six hours. I think I've got one or two bars left on there. So I'm going to charge that and charge that today. Just out of good practice. But yeah, about half 12, I think, before I went to bed, I did have a walk around and a listen, which is probably the worst one to do, making noise and scent. Because I could hear something. I really could hear something over there. It sounded like something drinking water. Like... I don't know. Right, I'm gonna get a brew on the go. Um, have a bit of a tidy up. Oh, maybe do some bacon and cheesy rolls. Got brown sauce this time. Found it in the shed. Uh, I think last time I'd ketchup. But yeah, that's a uh, camp set up last night. <laughs> Going old school today. No chainsaw this weekend. And normally we've got a normal wood saw in the back of the car. Um, nope, I haven't got one of those either. I've got my £6.50 folding saw from Wilkinson's. That I've had many, many, many years. A bit rusty, still sharp, and the lock still works. And again, I'm hardly gripping it. I'm just letting the saw do the work. Uh, it's just for kindling to get a fire going. Might have to cut this. Start recording again. Well, yeah, good tip to uh, save you going all the way through and then falling as the log breaks um, or using so much energy sawing the entire log when you think you're majority of the way through this works better with bigger logs there you go it's a lot less effort to bang that three or four times than it is to actually saw it for 10 minutes or so So that'll be my kindling to get a fire going. And I can get the coffee on and the bacon on. Right. That's what I bought the water on last night for my coffee. And it got full of everything. Just like it is now. out the way so I'm not going to trip on it I'm not going to use it again today so there's no point having it laying around here so that's safe so I'm out of the way it's one of those things that you do first time every time 
I know when you put the camera on, you've missed the log. You get a sliver of it and it doesn't chop like butter. Yeah, there's something about turning the camera on, stopping things from working. my chicken stick again don't hold the wood accidents happen use something to hold it with And preferably use a smaller axe, like a hatchet, <laughs> than a full size axe for, for light work. There we go. Now we're getting into the swings of things and working up a sweat. Right. All the good stuff. Uh, Vaseline and cotton wool. I am absolutely gagging for a coffee. I've been up like an hour now. Still not actually had a coffee. Normally, I like to like a five with just one, maybe two. But today. I want to make sure this thing lights because I want coffee. Let me rephrase that. I need coffee. Right, that's fine. Tiddly bits. So we need your stage one, two, and three. Oh, I've got birch bark up on the table. And I've got flint and steel. I probably also have a lighter. Watch it just go out. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not live on YouTube or Facebook because I'd have to uh, have to edit this to make it look like it worked first time. My poor knees from squatting down. I thought I need to remember to bring my kneeling pad. Oh, I've got a knee pad actually. Yeah, I'm gonna grab my knee pad. DPM, simple kneeling pad. I've got some really heavy duty ones, but that'll do. Oh yeah, uh, on the radio, I don't know if you can hear it in the background, one of the Chuckle Brothers died today, age 73. Uh, jokes aside, that's uh, not a bad age, and he has entertained most of the world. 
for quite a few years. So, uh, yeah, in memory out of respect for the one of the annoying little fucking brothers. <laughs> we all love to hate. Like the Teletubbies. We hate them, but we love them. Um, yeah, to me, to you. Now, the bigger stuff, I'm just going to put on when that catches. I don't want to suffocate it and smother it. I'm going to give that a wipe. A lot of rust on there. And, and debris and leaves and stuff. So I'm going to give that a wipe and then just um, sterilise it by leaving it on there for quite a while. And again, I always do when I'm out. I burn, I, I dry all my wipes out and then I burn them. I've got a couple in the fire from sort of freshening up this morning. And uh, I just dry them out around the fire and then burn them. Just because I don't like taking too much rubbish home. Just getting the loose stuff off. Get them in no rush. Fire takes as long as it takes to ignite. To light. Just want it going. The more I play of the fire, the more it goes out. So whatever's left on here, I'm literally going to burn off. I'll get all this wood going. Nice big yellow flame, lots of heat. Orange flame. There's even strands on there now. From the wipes but all that will just burn off yeah so then I should start bringing well that saw is adequate but I did like having a normal wood saw in the back um, those battery banks work brilliant I mean the solar panel I can't even see it I just, I just bungeed it to the tree um, yeah they work brilliant for charging phones charging my vape which I'm going to be doing today and uh, yeah I don't need the big solar system when it's, when it's just me this is basically leaving out the Bergen. I haven't actually got the Bergen, I've just got the pouches of coal on it. So yeah, this is all you need. Don't need a lot of stuff. Finally, the bacon is on. Um, been waiting for it to go down the coals. Used my uh, cadet cup with a stick as a handle, because obviously it was hot to heat up the water. Made my coffee, which I'm going to drink now, because I've just charged up the rifle. Um, it was down to 150 bar from last night's shenanigans. So I um, bought this pump off eBay for 30 quid. It's supposed to be a white dial that glows in the dark, but it's black and it doesn't glow in the dark. But it was up for £33. said make an offer, so I made an offer of 30 quid and accepted it, so I'm not moaning. I think it goes up to 3,500 PSI or something like that. 4,500 PSI. Um, yeah, 4,500 pieces, I think. But, uh, I can't see. Yeah, I think it's 4,500 PSI it goes to. Guesstimated, of course. Um, so yeah, 30 quid. I've just done about 5 to 10 minutes, maybe 7 minutes of pumps. I get about one pump per shot, so if I do two magazines, that's nearly... Um, 25 shots, so that's 25 pumps. No, that's not 14, 28, yeah, 28 pump, 28 shots. So, um, I think I done two or, th two or three magazines last night. But either way, just charged up now. The gauge on the pump matches the gauge on the rifle, which is always good. I made quite a good picture, actually. I'll have to screenshot that. 
Right, I'm gonna keep an eye on my bacon and drink my coffee. Right, while the bacon's finishing off, um, I've just pumped up the uh, rifle, but it could do with a, I don't know, two or three more pumps. It's got about 199 bar. Um, just an example really of how the pump works. Uh, just got a constant. There you go, dropping the can of oil. Right, just put a, a drop of three in one on the uh, on the end there. There's nowhere really level to do this. It does help tremendously if you're somewhere level. And no debris. We're in the woods. Now, I've already lost two O-rings, so I'm being extra careful plugging that in. goes in quite smooth, then there's a bit of a click as it kind of locks in. Um, close your bleed valve. First of all, you've got to pump it to equal pressure, which is the easy part. So halfway up the yellow. Now on a 100 bar, which is the bottom of the green. Bit more resistance now. 150 bar, and 175 bar. And now we're on the 200 pound bar. Obviously, it's just under. Now, you should do it like this. But obviously, I'm on uneven ground and it's very slippery. As long as you use your weight to push it down. you're steady on your feet so you're not going to fall over if you slip. Now I've just done about 60 or 70 pumps to get it charged to maximum. Just bang on 200 bar now. So you open your bleed valve up which releases, releases the pressure in the pipe. Once all the air is out of the pipe, or the system, you remove your nozzle, which I'm doing very carefully. Like I said, I've already lost two O-rings when I bought this. Close the bleed valve. Now in here, there's filters uh, to help with moisture and debris. I bought this, I've got about 50 um, replacement filters. Close the uh, cover and your fill point. Put your pump away, some I say. There you have it. Back up to 200 bar. Just chilling in the hammock and remembered last time I was here, I made a video explaining how I set it up wrong. Um, Again, another video I done last night with uh, no audio and in the dark. So uh, redoing it now. So uh, yeah, the basher is situated to the left of the tree, and then the hammock comes off the right hand side of the tree, which puts me under the middle of the basher, and then the side of the basher is over there. Where last time I was here, I think I had the hammock coming off this side so I was laying sort of underneath the side of the basher um, and the other end's the same as well I've done it probably this weekend I've got the uh, hammock on this side of the tree and then the basher the apex is on that side of the tree so I'm laying further in and I've got this more square um, the trees I'm using are exactly the same width as the basher I mean to the inch they are made to measure that one's even grown funny to make sure it fits 
So this is ideal for a basher. Um, there are other trees. <laughs> oh, these are my trees. Uh, but yeah, at this rate, you can get right underneath. There's still room behind me for storage of stuff. Again, I can use the centre of the basher at the other end of the loop to pull that up and out for more room. It actually does chuck it down. I can put um, the table and that under there. And the radios. Or uh, I'll carry two bashers so I can sling a secondary basher up as another lean to a frame. Or like I did when I came here shooting last weekend. Um, just made a, a canopy, just the roof. Tied of four corners, lifted up the, uh, the centre. And put a table and chair under that. Because it rained all weekend and uh, I wanted to shoot so I just came down with a basher. Sat on the chair. Rested on the table um, for about two hours, I think. Relaxing selfie. Sleeping bag still inside um, the hammock, haven't put it away yet. <laughs> it's actually really quite comfy to lay on. But I've got to be careful not to fall asleep again. So while uh, drinking my coffee, decided to shoot from the bonnet with a bipod. Walk up through the woods. Put the camera down, and I'm going to try and do five in a row. I'll uh, lean on the bonnet. Right, I'm going to walk back and drink my coffee. I'm not going to get much drinking coffee time done. But those stickers are getting annihilated. Well, the target seems to be holding up well. Uh, with live rounds, I hear these things bow and warp change shape after a while. And I love the little indents.
funny little bullet holes. Oh. I missed. We'll edit that out. The thing is, they're swinging. <sighs> I am skimming them. But they don't half swing. And the last one. <laughs> and then it took my face off. That one just ricocheted back. <laughs> Just past my, my cheek, I think. My ear. Five out of five. All right, time for another brute. But uh, I don't want to relight the fire because it's out now. I want to be going soonish, another hour or so. So uh, while the fire's out, I'm just going to use the petal stove. Messed in, I don't fancy putting a, a cup on there. With such a small handle. Temperamental little stove, but great when it works. Uh, yeah, so I get a brewer on the go, keep some fluids in me, because it is still quite hot today. I've read reports on the radio of people saying it's hotter than yesterday. And yesterday was hot. <laughs> Uh, I try not to look at the temperature the past couple of weeks, but we've had this heat wave in the UK and uh, it's doing me in. <laughs> Don't do heat. But um, I went for a walk up the top earlier in, in, in the sunlight and in about 15 seconds I was absolutely pouring the sweat and had to come back down here. Yeah, not overly keen on the sun. Looking forward to the winter camping here. Um, along with the frogs last night, saw a couple of massive slugs. Um, one must have been about six inches long, it was here, so I kicked him under there, and then I noticed there was a massive one on the tree. Uh, there was one on the logs down there, and a small one over here, I noticed when I was watching all the moths, where my light was hanging up here, um, the moths had lined up perfectly. All the way down here. Not on the other side, anywhere else on the tree, but there was just moss all the way down there. Um, but yeah, plenty of slugs and plenty of frogs, plenty of moths. And that weird hornet type thing that was on my chair last night. And it was like a massive, massive wasp. Right, that shouldn't take long to boil, so I'm going to get my cup ready. I've got to find it first. Who put all that junk up there? Oh my god, I forgot to do the last clip. Um, after the last clip I'd done, I started packing away. I kept thinking of things to say on the next clip, um, show that I'm all packed up, mention the leave no trace thing, and uh, say thanks for watching. Um, yeah, we'll catch you on the next video.
and then my phone went about next weekend uh, is the lighthouse walk to raise money for the lighthouse I believe and there's 800 and something people booked maybe a thousand people on the day turning up and um, checkpoints and uh, giving St John some uh, communication support so I had a phone call about that and discussing what my duties are for Sunday, Saturday, I can't remember what day it was and then I just packed up and left and then I just realised I never actually made a video so thanks for watching, non way off life, take care so there it is, I'll be home in about 15 minutes uh, it's only five o'clock, I'd love to spend another three, four hours there. But I've got things to do, I've got to go move some furniture. Which I really haven't got the energy for. So um, yeah, thanks for watching, catch you in the next video. And um, see you soon.